Good day everybody and once again we're back together so we're looking still at the Eastern Cape November 2023 exam looking now at the exponential graph so please if you haven't subscribed make sure you're part of the family we've already covered questions one to five and you can gladly look at those as you continue to prepare for your final exam in grade 11. So let's get into it. They say to us f of x is 2 times 3 to the exponent of x plus 1. So they say to us write down the coordinates of the y-intercept uh, of f. So remember when we talk about the y-intercept this is where x is equal to 0. And that would be quite straightforward. We know that uh, f of 0 would be 2 multiplied by 3 to the exponent of 0. Okay, that's plus 1. So anything to the exponent of 0 or to the power 0, in this case, that would be 1. So that's 2 times 1 plus 1. And so that would give us 3. Right, and 6.2, they say write down the equation of the asymptote of f. Now, please, I want you to note in this case, uh, whenever we've got uh, the asymptote, right, it is the point that the graph cannot pass or that limits uh, the graph. Now, I want you to think about it in this case, the exponential graph particularly this increasing one, would have had its exponent, uh, or rather would have had its horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0, right? But now what did we do? We shifted this graph one unit up, okay? So therefore it means that its vertical, or rather its horizontal asymptote, will be the line x is equal to 1, okay? Uh, sorry, not x is equal to 1, rather. Uh, y is equal to 1. It is a horizontal asymptote, so that's the line it will not cross. All right, now um, let's take on the next one. So they say to us, draw a, a sketch graph of f, showing clearly the asymptotes, the intercepts, uh, with the axes. All right, now before we do that, um, we need to get, uh, we know we've got the y-intercept in this case. Now, when it comes to the x-intercept for this graph, this is where y is equal to 0. And I want you guys to please note, okay, and you'll see this just now, if I say y is equal to 0, so 2 times 3 exponent x plus 1, if I say this is equal to 0, I want you to note, I'm going to have 2 multiplied by 3x, 3 to the exponent x is equal to negative 1, and even if I divide by 2 in this case, there's no way that a positive exponent can give me a negative value. So in that case, it means there is no solution for that. So there's no x-intercept in that case. Right, now let's go to the drawing. We found out, okay, these are our axes, okay. And I just want to show there's our x-intercept. I mean, our y-intercept, rather. I keep saying x-intercept. And the graph passes through 3. So this is 1 over here. And 
and the graph will continue to grow in that direction. Right, if you want to, you could have also found one other point that the graph does not pass through, uh, but I'm going to leave it at that. And please remember to label your axes as well so that we can make a distinction between the axes and the actual graph. Right, so this is the line. I said we must show our axes. So this is going to be three over here. Right, and that's how your graph is going to look like, right? Now, finally, they say to us, write down the range of h. If h of x, now please, I want you to note. So h of x, uh, of x is 2 times 3 to the power x plus 1. So what did they do? They took the graph that we have and they are shifting it horizontally by one unit to the left, okay? So shifting it one unit to the left. And now they are also shifting it upwards, right? I want you to note the graph that we had, had a plus one there, which meant that it's horizontal asymptote was at one, but now they are shifting it five units down. Okay, so what did we do? Now, instead of our asymptote being at one, it's going to be at minus five, okay? All right, so means our graph is going to start at minus 5 and it will continue to grow in that direction. But remember, they've also shifted it. So in this case, uh, remember, the range will only be determined by this value over here. So that will give us y is an element of, <clears throat> an element of negative 5 all the way till infinity right guys i hope that makes sense and uh, that is how the cookie crumbles all right so we are going to ensure that we get maximum marks here that's our range that's going to be negative five to infinity um let's leave it here and we'll see each other on question number seven which is on functions again very very important question so we're going to make sure that uh, that is done. So for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.